Today's low carb, keto friendly fathead pizza is ridiculous, guys. Somebody asked me if it was better than cauliflower pizza crust, the fathead dough, way better. It's like next level. It's the big leagues, it's the real deal. This stuff is awesome. It literally might be one of the best recipes I've ever made on this channel. So let's not waste any more time. Let's make some pizza. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 425 degrees. So while the oven's preheating, it'll give us time to make our dough. The first thing we're gonna do is add 28 grams or about two tablespoons of some softened cream cheese to a small bowl. You also wanna add a cup and a half or 168 grams of full fat mozzarella cheese to the bowl. And as you'll notice, I'm using a food scale to do this because you wanna be as accurate as possible weighing out your ingredients. This will just make sure that the dough actually turns out how it's supposed to. So what I did there is I microwaved that for 45 seconds. When it's done microwaving, you wanna get out a spatula and start working the mozzarella cheese and the cream cheese into one another. It doesn't have to be totally combined because what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna toss it back in the microwave for another 45 seconds and that should help do the rest of the work for us. So that's microwaving. We're gonna take out a larger bowl, crack one egg into it, and then we're gonna whisk that egg until it's whiskified. Once it's all yellow in there, you can get the cheese that we just microwaved back out and we're gonna add that to the large bowl, as well as a cup or 100 grams of super fine almond flour. I recommend using Bob's Red Mill almond flour. It's what I use for my crust and it turned out amazing. So if you wanna pick some up, there's a link to grab some in the video description below. But what you wanna do is mix those ingredients until a ball of dough starts to form. Then you wanna add another two tablespoons-ish of the almond flour to your work surface area. Coat both sides of the dough in almond flour and then just start using your hands to work out the dough. Don't use a rolling pin. This is a big pro tip because a rolling pin can actually make the dough stick to your work surface area. So just make sure you're using your hands to work the dough out. So once the dough is about eight inches wide, you can transfer it to a pizza tray lined with parchment paper and keep working the dough out with your hands until it's about the size of the tray. And then at this point, you wanna take out a fork and start scoring the top of your dough with the fork. This is just gonna help prevent some bubbling that might happen when your dough is baking in the oven because we are using cheese for part of the base of the dough. So this is just a preventative measure to make sure that doesn't happen. Once that's taken care of, we're gonna bake the crust without any toppings for about 10 minutes but you'll want to occasionally check on it, just make sure that no bubbling is happening. If some is, you'll just want to get your fork back out and help reduce some of that bubbling. After about 10 minutes, your crust should look something like that. It should be golden brown and you're all set and ready to add your pizza sauce. So I added a half a cup or about 110 grams of pizza sauce. I think that's the perfect amount of pizza sauce for this size pizza, but if you like more pizza sauce, you'll want to add a little more than a half cup if you like less less than a half cup. Then you're all set to add your cheese. I used a cup or about 112 grams of mozzarella cheese, but once again, this is all personal preference depending on how much cheese you like on your pizza. Of course, the same is true for toppings, but I just kept things simple today. I just used a serving of sliced pepperoni. You wanna bake the pizza about another five minutes at 425, just until the cheese starts to melt. And then I just like to let it cool down for a couple of minutes before I cut myself some slices. It makes eight equal size slices and check this slice out, guys. Yeah, if this doesn't get you in the mood to make pizza, nothing will. That's today's pizza recipe, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it always means a lot. It really does mean the thumbs up button, the like button on the video. If you wanna pick up any of the products that I used to make the pizza today. All the links to those are in the video description below, along with the full written out recipe and the macros. Also, I really can't wait to see some of your guys' pizza recreation. So if you make this, tag me on Instagram. My handle is also in the video description. Thanks for hanging out with me a little bit today. Thanks for making some pizza with me. I'll see you in the next video, guys.